Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us again for Kids Worship Online. I'm so glad you're here with us this morning because we're talking about a really important piece of armor. And I think you can guess what it is based on what you see in this picture. So to kick it off, I'm going to start us off with prayer and then we're going to talk about our main verses. Let's pray. One, two, three. Father, we are so grateful for who you are, for the love that you give us, for your salvation. I pray for all my friends today that they would learn to love you more today, to obey their parents, their grandparents, and just have a fun time at home. We love you and praise your name. Amen. Well, we are in the armor of God and we are on the fifth piece of armor. I can't believe it. We're already on number five. And so we are going to read our main passage and you might be wondering, why are we reading it every single time? Well, it's really important that we read the scripture a lot. We read scriptures and verses a lot so that we can remember in our head and be able to recall and remember that scripture when we're in situations where we need that scripture. Maybe if you're lonely or you're scared, then you can remember those verses about God's love and God being there for you. So we read it every week so that we can remember the passage. So I have a friend who's going to read it for us. So let's take a look. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in in the heavenly realm. realm. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that. When the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. Then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the, your feet fitted with readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, in addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can Distinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the things. Well, thanks for reading that. Again, it's in Ephesians, and we're talking about the armor of God, and today we're talking about the helmet of salvation. And I know this is a funny looking helmet and maybe some of you even have a helmet like this or something similar. But raise your hand if you ever ride a bicycle or a scooter or a skateboard. Uh, probably a lot of you, right? And raise your hand if you wear a helmet. Yes, helmets are so important because they protect what? They protect your head. So just like we wear helmets when we go on a bike ride or on our skateboard, Soldiers would wear helmets like in this picture. And just like a soldier has a helmet in the armor of God, we have a helmet too, and that's the helmet of salvation. The most important body part is the head, right? So one of the most important pieces of armor is the helmet of salvation. And salvation is when Jesus came into our lives and takes us our sin away. He saves us for eternity apart from him. He came and he died on the cross so that we would have salvation and be able to spend our eternity in heaven with him. That's such a cool thing. So we have to accept Jesus as our savior. We need to believe that he is Lord and then we need to confess our sins. So if there's sins in our life, we have to say, sorry, Lord, I don't want those sins. Please forgive me. I have a friend that's going to read 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. So let's take a look. Did 
receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, thanks for reading those verses. We remember salvation is represented by a helmet because it protects our thinking. God created us with a head that has a brain in it so that we can think and have a relationship with Him. So we can be confident that we will spend forever in heaven because God has saved us through His Son, Jesus Christ. Let's look at one more verse. This is found in Romans chapter 8, verse 37 through 39. Let's take a look. Romans 8, 37 through 39. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thanks for reading those verses. They tell us that no matter what we do, when we put on that helmet of salvation, we are winners. We can win against sin because God will help us do that. And that's the cool thing about salvation. So take some time as a family to look at the discussion guide and the activity pages and the activity. Think about what salvation means. And if you don't have Jesus in your heart, if you haven't accepted him as your savior, Ask your mom and dad or a grandparent about what that means and how you can do that. And if you have any questions, you can always call me too. Know that God loves you and that he wants to have a relationship with you. And that's why he included the salvation helmet so that we could always keep that helmet on and remember that God loved us so much that he gave us his son. So have a great week. Do those activities together and we'll see you next week. Have a great day.